Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that Infosys System Engineer on campus has hiring has started for 2026 by students. So on this channel also we are starting the preparation series for this exam. In this particular video, I will be discussing the latest logical reasoning questions which were previously asked in Infosys exam. Similar videos of different different sections will be coming on this particular channel. So guys, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because for every company, if you will see Cognizant, Capgemini, we have made lot of videos regarding the exam uh, uh, questions okay similarly thing we'll be doing for Infosys as well as in Accenture and TCS also so make sure to be present on this channel if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section or you can join this telegram group which which is dedicated for 2026 batch students only lot of discussions about different different hiring are happening in this group and also if you want to know that what should be the resources you should consider for the preparation of Infosys SC exam that also I will be discussing in this video only so make sure to watch this video till the end so now let's start the video hit that like and subscribe button before moving ahead okay so let's start with the question so first question is five person PQRST are sitting in a row T is to the immediate right of Q so let's just write it side by side so they are sitting in a row this is the row T is the immediate right of Q so this is Q and T is immediate right of Q okay okay but not at the end so full stop but not at the end so t is immediate right of q but it is not at the end of the row okay p is between q and s so p is between q and s so q is here so p will be here and s will be here because p is in between q and s okay and we know that t is not at the end of the row so but, uh, which person is remaining r is remaining so r will be sitting here now who is sitting at the rightmost end? So this is the rightmost end. So who is sitting? R. So correct option is R. I hope this question is clear to you. Now let's move towards the next question. If the following words are arranged in alphabetical order, which one will come last? So we all have seen dictionaries. So there uh, every word is arranged in an alphabetical order. So first is blame, blank, blast and blaze. If you will see that all uh, the first three characters of all the words are same okay the first three characters of all the words are same so then the, dis the distinguished character will be the fourth one so let's just write it line by line so first fourth letter is m then there is n then there is s then there is z so which one will be coming at the last so z is the last alphabet of the uh, english language as you all know so correct option is d that is blaze so i hope now it is clear to you next question is a is the mother of b okay so it is a relation uh, relation based questions so a is mother of b so let's just draw a diagram a is mother of b okay and b is the sister of c so b is sister of c d is c's father so d is c's father so d is c's father okay now how is a related to d so a is the mother of b so she is wife and she is father so a is d like wife so answer is wife so a is wife of d so option a is correct i hope it is clear to you okay so guys before moving ahead i would like you to know that on our top mid page of code bashers we have enforces system engineer preparation material in this particular material all the sections that will be coming in your Infosys exam for all those sections previously asked actual questions of Infosys are there. So actual aptitude and technical ability questions previously asked, actual logical reasoning questions, verbal ability questions, pseudo codes, puzzle questions, English grammar questions. So all these sections, the questions that have been asked previously in Infosys are covered in these particular material. So if I will show you a sample of let's suppose the logical reasoning PDF, you can see here we have the exact question, the options and the correct answer for it for every question we have the correct question options and answer similarly for pseudocode also you can see we have lot of pseudocodes which you can practice not just for Infosys but for other companies also similarly for aptitude also you can see we have the question we have the options and we have the correct answer for it okay so guys best way for preparation for any exam is by solving the previously asked questions of that exam if you are interested in this material the links are in the description box and there is a flat 20% off for first 100 students that will be buying this material again the coupon code is also in the description box do check them out now moving towards the next question is direction question in the question below two statements are given followed by two conclusions one and two decide which conclusion follows statement now some cats are dog and all cat dogs are elements 
uh, animals so see this is the venn diagram of dog okay then all dogs are animals and some cats are dogs so some cats so this is the venn diagram of cats okay this is the venn diagram of cats all dogs are animals so if we will build a build a venn diagram based on this assumption that all dogs are animals okay and some cats are dogs so this is how a venn diagram will be looking so what are the conclusions so first conclusion is some cats are animals some cats are animals yes because some cats are dogs and all dogs are animals so therefore some cats are animals this is correct all dogs are correct uh, all dogs are cats so answer is no because some cats are dogs and there is nowhere written anything about dog so this option is wrong so the conclusion one follows only so answer option a is correct i hope it is clear to you next is choose the odd one out so mango apple potato banana so it is potato because everything is fruit and potato is a vegetable okay next question is in a certain code basket is written as subtech okay we are writing basket is written as sub tech okay so similarly how will be little written how little will be written okay so if you will look closely if you will break down basket into two two uh, pieces so one will be bas and next will be kat so if you will reverse both of these pieces then it will be sab and tek okay sub tech this is what it is written so similarly we have to break down this also into two pieces and we have to reverse both the pieces so it will be t i l e l t so t i l e l t t i l e l t option b is correct i hope it's clear to you next is if 3 is coded as t so t 3 7 as k so k is 7 f is 9 f is 9 so what is the code for 397 so 397 will be t f k t f k that is option a i hope this question is also clear to you next question is which of the following number is not a perfect square so 256 is the perfect square 144 is the perfect square 196 is also a perfect square 200 is not a perfect square so option is d 200 next is choose the missing number in the series 1 4 9 16 36 36 if you will look closely 1 is a square of 1 4 is a square of 2 9 is a square of 3 16 is the square of 4 then 5 square is 25 that is a missing number and then 6 square is 36 so option is c 25 i hope it's clear to you next is if 2 in 2 plus 2 is 8 3 plus 3 is 18 what is 4 plus 4 so let's just see 2 plus 2 is 8 3 plus 3 is 18 what will be 4 plus 4 let's just break down so 2 plus 2 is 8 how 2 plus 2 is 8 so if you will see 2 into 2 that is 4 into 2 okay so this is coming out to be 8 similarly if you will do 3 into 3 into 2 that is coming out to be 18 so 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 2 is 8 3 into 3 is 9 9 into 2 is 18 so this is the this is how this pattern is following similar pattern you have to follow for 4 also 4 into 4 into 2 so 4 into 4 is 16 16 into 2 is 32 so option correct option is 32 here i hope this question is clear to you next question is in a class 40% of students are boys and rest are girls if there are 30 boys how many girls are there so 40% of x is 30 these are number of boys okay so x is equal into 30 into 10 divided by 4 this is coming out to be 75 this is the total number of students so 75 are total number of students out of uh, out of 75 30 are boys how many girls are there 45 will be the number of girls so this is the correct option here i hope it is clear to you next question is if the sum of the squares of two consecutive even number is 5 580 what are the numbers okay what are the numbers so uh, yeah so you can in this particular question you can do hit and trial what does it means so x square plus x plus 2 square equal into 580 this is what it means okay if you can solve this equation you can find that okay 16 and 18 will give you the correct answer this is the equation you have to solve and yeah this is the result you will be getting 
yeah i hope this is clear to you okay so this was the last question of this particular video so around 10 to 13 questions we have discussed in this video i hope everything is clear to you if you are still we want that okay this section this company i want more such videos i will be happy to make it okay so guys as i have told you before in the video also that on our top mid page of code bashers we have infosys system engineer preparation material in this particular material we have all the sections covered which will be asked in infosys and for each and every section previously asked actual questions are there of infosys only and in earlier and earlier i have shown you the demo also like i have shown you the sample also so if you think that this material can help you for your preparation then do check out the links are in the description box and 20% discount is there for the first 100 students okay so guys thank Thank you for watching this video make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and do share this video among your friends as well